Hey guys, it's first thing in the morning, so sorry about my hair and everything, but I'm very excited because gay conversion therapy is now illegal. Yay! Finally, Canada, finally. Um, as being autistic, it just makes me wonder, why aren't you targeting ABA? ABA is the grandfather of gay conversion therapy. It's conversion therapy for autistics to convert us into seeming neurotypical. And the Ontario government is pushing it. It's the only thing they will fund for autistic children to use. It is widely known as abusive. Um, individuals who go through ABA that are autistic are 86% more likely to have PTSD than those who have not received the therapy. And so while I am ecstatic that gay conversion therapy is banned, I don't understand why Canada and Ontario are pushing it for autistics. When we know it's abusive, and even if you argue that some people want it, it's still not right, just like gay conversion therapy isn't right. Um, I really don't understand why they are okay with it. And even if you go on an applied behavioral analytic um, website that's pro, they still mention Louis... Arvis, I can't pronounce his name, um, who created it, that his colleague took what he did with autistics and did it on, uh, and did it on, um, on gay people. And what baffles me is when you look at ABA and you look how females, um, people who are born female or people who are born male, how they're treated is different. And the behaviors they target to change are different in both. So if we continue to allow ABA, we are still contributing to gay conversion therapy. Um, oftentimes, males will be forced to act a little less feminine that are autistic, even if it's subconscious. I mean, I don't think they go out of their way to do it. It's just something they do and something that happens because you are believing that you're shaping the entire autistic person. That means you're taking away their their entire being and replacing it with what you want. And that's just messed up. Um, something I realized last night and um, I just want to add to this is um, the hand over hand technique that ABA uses all the time and you hear it all the time. And I saw it firsthand being used on children um, where I had been bringing my kid but no longer bringing her to. Um, so every time the kid would lift his hand off of his hand, they would take his hand and put it back down. They would argue it's not abuse. We're teaching them how to, you know, sit still. But that person did not consent to you touching them. You did not ask them permission to touch them. And additionally, even though they're not hitting you themselves, they're making you hit yourself. So if your hand goes up, they take your other hand and they place it on top of your other one to hold it down. And they'll still physically hold down autistics for STEMI. They argue that they don't. But eventually, it comes to that because it distracts the other students in the classroom. And when you look at how successful it is. 
it says that it's very successful in ending disruptive behavior in a classroom. But nothing about what it does to you when you're older. And ABA has never researched what it does to an autistic's brain. Um, even though there's plenty of autistics out there who've said, I have PTSD from this. And it's still continuing. And they're pushing it more and more. I just got an email. My, my kid um, is registered as autistic, which I regret. Um, and they're saying an ABA therapist has to be the one to say, yes, they need the headphones or yes, they need this assistive device. If an ABA therapist isn't the one saying it, you can't get any funding in Ontario. So you have no choice if you're poor to be under them to get any kind of funding. Ontario and Canada aren't giving us a choice. It's ABA and that's it. And again, this is the grandfather of cake conversion therapy. And I do believe so long as ABA is around, there will be some measure of gay conversion therapy or trans conversion therapy being done on people. Because to this day, they want people who are born as female or people who are born as male to act a certain way. And because the principle of ABA at its core, despite what they say, the whole thing was made upon the idea that an autistic person is not a person. And you can find that information. Again, on a pro-ABA website, any of them, you can just Google it. What did the creator of ABA have to say about autistics? And what he had to say was autistics are human in the physical tense, but not in the psychological sense. We have to build that. And if you really think that um, it can change, no, that's the whole core value. So anyone who's using that on your kid, that's the core value, even if they don't think it is, because that's what ABA was built on. Even if they say it's positive reinforcement, what is the positive reinforcement? It's ignoring your kid until they do what you want them to do. That is still abuse. That's still abusive. So, I'm strictly talking about ABA here. I understand there's other behavioral therapies. Um, right now, I'm just strictly talking about applied behavioral analytics. Um... It needs to stop and not just stop using the name because there's plenty of other names for it. IBI, IBEI, and it's all under the same principle as ABA and it's even more intense and it mimics more what was done back in the 1950s. Um, in America, there's still an institution that electrocutes individuals who aren't following ABA. And it is still backed by Autism Speaks, which is what Canada uses and get, donates all, all of your donations that you make when you buy a puzzle piece goes to Autism Speaks, which backs the ABA. So that's still being used. And I feel like this is a hollow win. I think it's definitely a start. But we need to cut the snake off where the head is and not chip away at the tail. Thanks for listening. Oh, and I will have a link as well to uh, just a little bit of information. Um, but yeah, definitely do search um, everything else and find out more. And uh, please become an advocate for... Uh, completely ending conversion therapy. Thank you.